I am here with two members of the Yogs class, Simon and Lewis. How are you two doing? Good? Pretty good? Yeah, me and Simon and Duncan, we put a stop to those mouth-running Indian lions. Yeah, I don't think we'll see any of them at all. Ah! Whoa! Oh, God. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you really think you f this is over, huh? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, Hoist him down. Hoist him down. Uh, let me talk to Lewis. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Lewis. Since you are the leader of the Oath cast, and I somehow to be the leader of the Indian Alliance, let's sell this month's of Raw. At WrestleMania, it'll be leader versus leader. You versus me. And I'll see you there, Lewis. Ha ha ha. Oi! Good. <sighs> Shit, bro. <sighs> well, damn, I thought the Indian Lions and Yolf's cast rival would be over, but no, we'll have one more match at WrestleMania T Series versus Lewis. And, um. Oh, here comes the general manager, Shout the Hedgehog, coming out here. Not sure why he's coming out here, probably gonna talk about something. But yeah, but we've been watching, though. Since uh, Shadow has been on camera for us to be wrestling. And uh, it wants to be wrestled. Wonder when uh, Shadow might wrestle again. Because, you, know, you know, Shadow, he, he has a wrestling career. He has to be wrestling, even though it's like Jared Madry. He wants to become, he was a former European champion, but that was pretty much like the shortest run as European champion. Like for 11 days. Then Shadow decides to like vacate the title because, you know, he's a Jared Madry and like, you know, he's wants to do Jared Madry stuff instead. And being champion is hard because everyone wants to go after him. Everyone wants to like, demanding a title shot from him. So he relinquished the belt. And I think the, the European champion might be relinquished again because of Koyan's injury. The yeah, was right now shout the hedgehog. He's getting to the ring. There's some like black cloth in like the ring as well. Like I'm not sure what's in there. I'm not sure it's gonna be in the black cloth, maybe something interesting. Is that why Shout's gonna announce about this? Yeah, Shadow's gonna get in the ring. Let's see what Shadow, the general manager of SME Wrestling, is gonna say before we continue on with Ultimate Punishment. Hello, SME Wrestling Universe. Enjoying the show so far? Yes, nice and cool. But the still, the show must still go on. But right now, I have an announcement to make. And you're probably wondering, what is this black cloth on the ring mat? Well, I'll be showing something really special. You know the Tag Team Division, right? And the Tag Team Championships. It's been going on in SB Wrestling for about four years now. And I just gotta say, it's about time that we see an end to the Tag Team Division. Just because, you know, we might get some little complaints like, you know, the matches are going too long, it's repetitive, and just, there's not enough teams in SB Wrestling. So... I might as well put an end to the tag team division and get rid of the tag team belts and introduce you to a new championship. Ladies and gentlemen, may I please welcome you, the Internet Championship. Oh my word. That's right. This is the new belt for SME Wrestling. No more tag team championships. From now on, we have the Internet Championship division. And now... Please welcome the Tag Team Champions here, Sand and Zero Punctuation. Here come the Tag Team Champions, but um, they won't be Tag Team Champions anymore, because right now they're going to be the, um, one of them, I don't know if they're going to be the Tag Team Championships, because it's going to be replaced by this new Internet Championship. This is very interesting, very exciting. One who's gonna claim that belt first. And it's gonna be like, and like, since the tag team titles are no more, the tag team division is no more. Does that mean Sans and Zero Park Question are gonna battle for that belt? I'm not sure, but these two are best mates. They do a bro fist, one last fist bump as a team. And it's the last time they're gonna be holding those belts around their waist because they're gonna to have to relinquish them and they'll no longer be champions at SME Wrestling. But here they are, let's see what Shell's gonna say now. Alright, listen. You two, you two are the greatest tag team and greatest tag team champions we ever had at SB Wrestling. But now, 
it's time to relinquish the tag team belts from you. The tag division is now over. May I please have the belts? For now on, we'll never see the tag team championships ever again. And now, welcome the new championship, the Internet Championship. And I gotta say, you two are the perfect opponents for each other. Because at WrestleMania, you two will be battling for this belt to see who will become the first ever Internet Champion. Yeah, I gotta say, the internet championship fits me pretty well. I can't wait to put that around my waist. Uh, excuse me, mate. Look, I love you and all. You're, you're, my, buddy. you're my buddy. But I think that internet championship belongs to me. Because, you know, I made the internet big with my fucking memes and my theme song. And, yeah, I just made the internet big. Now, hold on a second. The internet, just because you're in a popular game and a popular character, doesn't mean you should deserve the internet championship. Because I am from the internet. Look. Look at this. That look at YouTube and that, that looks great on me. But the reason that you're popular on the internet is trying to rival the angry video game nerd, so... Yeah, excuse me, mate. Do you really want to piss me off, yeah? Oh, I'm trying to get you hyped up for WrestleMania. I'm trying to get you hyped up to fight me. Because we're going to have one hell of a match at WrestleMania. And I'm pretty sure that's how I'll be getting in that chapter. Nah, cunt. It is my belt. Whoa. I think things are getting heated up now. But you do need to save it to WrestleMania. But now, let's continue Ultimate Punishment. Damn, what an announcement for, from Shadow. It will be Santa Zero Park Wedge at Russ first facing each WrestleMania for the Internet Championship, the, a new belt for SME Wrestling. So now we won't see the Tag Team Championships anymore. We now have the Internet Championship. Well, it will be very interesting to see Santa Zero Park Wedge battle out for the Internet Championship at WrestleMania. But right now, let's get ready for the return of The Undertaker as he defends the Universal Championship against the teacher, Mr. Lerd. It's been a while since we saw the dead men here in SMB Wrestling. It's been a while since we saw the Universal Championship in SMB Wrestling. And now we're going to see it return. Oh yes, it's back, baby. But, oh shit. First, before we get to the Undertaker's return, we gotta see the challenger, and that is Mr. Lerd. The crowd giving him a bad reception, just booing the teacher, Mr. Lerd. Just look at him, just a little cocky ass smile. And of course, he's still doing his classes with the jobbers, and I'm not sure, maybe Mr. Lerd's coming a jobber himself, even though he's trying to teach jobbers a lesson. They also beat jobbers, but I think he's coming a jobber himself. How oh, the tables are turned for him. And now here he is, going come against the dead man, the Undertaker. This is pretty much, I think Mr. Lord's going to regret this. He's very regretting this match because he has no idea what the demon's going to do to him. And he's thinking of becoming a universal champion if he's going to beat him. Really, Mr. Lord? I don't think you stand a fucking chance. But look at him, just being a cocky ass bitch. Now he's going to get a ring, drop your fancy and shit. Wait, I think he has a micro. What the hell he wants to say? Alright, uh, all you listen. Let me tell you something that needs you to get in your brains. I need to tell you about the Undertaker. You know there's a rule for that? If you swear, you get in big trouble. If you keep doing that, you gotta get attention, okay? Listen, I'm here to talk about the Undertaker. Undertaker, he may be scary. He may be a dead man. He may be one of the greatest of all time. But he's old. Way too old. He ain't young like Mr. Lerd. And I don't think he still has it. He's way too old. And I think it would be an easy victory. And I'll just teach him a lesson that the young talent is still very bright. And the future is now, old people. And I'll be Universal Champion. I will be a champion someday because Mr. Lerd is great.
Ladies and gentlemen, the dead man has risen once again. The Universal Champion is back and better than ever. The dead man, a proud Hall of Famer. And I'm just, man, this, this is so heartwarming, man. I'm glad to see this man back. He's my favorite wrestler of all time. And I just hope he beats the hell out of Mr. Lerner to make him rest in peace. Last time we saw The Undertaker in SME Wrestling was at Havoc last year, where he retained Universal, the Universal Championship against T-Series. Of course, yes, of course, T-Series lost to The Undertaker. He did not stand a chance. He lost the Indian Alliance. Yeah, he did not stand a chance against the fucking dead man. And Mr. Lerner, I'm not sure if he's going to stand a chance. But I'm pretty much doubting Mr. Led right now because he's already shiting his pants. Now I see the Undertaker doing his grand entrance. Then once we see him do his long ass entrance, I don't care if it's like going for 30 minutes or something. It's a, the greatest entrance of all wrestling, the greatest entrance of all time. Look, the Undertaker, I'm you know, pretty sure it's all serious mode now. He's ready to wreck some shit. Oh, yeah, I cannot wait for him to wreck Mr. Lerd. We're just making everything lit up. That's the Universal Champion you see right now. The dead man. The phenom. The Ministry of Darkness. The American Badass. The Undertaker has so many nicknames. Even the Reaper. Just, he has so many nicknames that you just have to pick one that's truly specific for the dead man. And the Undertaker here, he's gonna take the hat off and we're gonna see him wrestle again. It's been once we saw him wrestle S3 Wrestling, let's fucking go. Oh, oh yeah. Here we go, the dead man's first match back here. Oh, Mr. Lerner, we're going for a chop here. Oh, try to go to the dead man just pushing him down. That chop did no effect to the Undertaker, the crowd. Shannon the Undertaker's name, they're glad that the Undertaker is back. And he's beating the hell out of Mr. Lerd. Mr. Lerd just getting stomped on by the dead man. You know, the crowd wants to get Shannon the Undertaker's name, they love this dude. And so do I. Oh, this big archer to the corner and Mr. Lerd goes goes down. And the Undertaker's gonna attack the arms of Mr. Lerd here. Look, saying to Mr. Lerd, he's a piece of trash. He ain't no match for him and a big elbow drop. Big elbow drop to Mr. Lerd. Oh boy, Mr. Lerd is not doing good at all. He's got a head crank locked in. Head crank gone to Mr. Lerd, just stretching the head here. Now, oh, Mr. Lerd in a bad way right now. But hold on, Mr. Lerd. Oh, wait a minute, he's fighting back. And I kind of feel like Ultimate Punch is kind of the home of the Undertaker because, you know, he has some great matches. He went against uh, Rack Reynolds and uh, also Luch Man. That wasn't a good match. And may return that. Last year's Ultimate Punch would face against Triple H. Now, here he is. Gump gets Mr. Lerd. And that right, he's beating his ass right now. Mr. Lerd trying to fight back, but it's not really good. Big strike, the best pure striker in wrestling history. Gosh, Mr. Lerd, no! And the crowd boos the hell on Mr. Lerd after he hit the forearm. <clears throat> now, Mr. Lerd tried to go come back here. Ah, oh, close line. The dead man's gonna start bouncing back soon. Go for a cover up to the dead man. That's only a zero count. Just get to all of you. can't take out the dead man that quickly. The dead man's still trying to get up. Mr. Lerd just trying to club him down. Oh, big up, a t big up a t to the gut, strike to the gut or something. Oh, look out, ref, shit. And a big clothesline. Got that. Now, let's, let's try to do a little comeback on the Undertaker. Let's go for a snapmare now. What the hell? Let's go. Oh, shit. Undertaker counts, Mr. Lerd. Oh, flying clothesline. Big flying clothesline. Now, Undertaker stomps down, Mr. Lerd. Now slowly pick him up, boom, knee strike, take his glasses off, shatter his glasses, Undertaker. Just gonna break his fucking glasses, so he can't see. Now he's going to attack the leg of Mr. Lerd. Oh, Undertaker, he's already called for the end. He's calling for the end for Mr. Lerd. Oh, Mr. Lerd, buddy. And once again, he's calling him a piece of trash. And he's torn to the crowd, we're glad he's back. Mr. Lerd just sitting down through fuck all. And try to get up. It was out of the way though. Oh shit! Oh, damn, this little the jawbreaker. Well, what the hell? No, he went for the shitty Fisher. That did nothing to the Undertaker. Oh my god, that shitty Fisher did fuck all to the Undertaker. He's dead, Mister Lerd. What the fuck were you thinking? 
The Hyante is like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, what the fuck was that fish? That was fucking shit. I'm not sure who caught with this fucking fish. Oh shit. Choke slam city boy. Boom! Choke slam to Mr. Lerd. And that could be it right here. The choke slam could do it right here to end Mr. Lerd. One and a two. And, oh man, Mr. Lerd's able to kick out the, the choke slam. The Mr. Lerd try can't wait. Oh wait. Oh come on. No, not like this. What the hell? I'm take a look confused. Oh no, he has no idea what is gonna happen. He's no idea what's gonna what's gonna happen here. Yeah. Oh no, Mr. Lerd with the rule. Hold on, wait a minute. Auntie was not even phased. That didn't even affect him at all. You fucked up. 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 Mr. Auntie. Please, please. Oh, uppercut. Big rushes uppercut. Right there to Mr. Lerd. Oh, Mr. Lerd, you're done, buddy. You're, you're done for me. Oh, shit. Here we go. It's time for the end. It's time for the end here. Here it goes. Got him up. Tombstone Pile Driver! And of course, the get away from Rose, go for a cover, it's over, it's over for Mr. Lerd. Just like that, The Undertaker retains the Universal Championship. Oh, Mr. Lerd, what are you thinking? Look, look at this, just try to, Mr. Lerd tried to do that freaking cheating, what used to rule her against The Undertaker. That did no, that did fuck all The Undertaker. That had no effect to the dead man. Look, Miss Lay, he tried to do his best. He tried to beat the dead man. But no, he couldn't. Although, that's that shitty fish. I don't think I know. Didn't get any effect on this. The choke slam right there. The big choke slam. Of course, somehow that was enough for. That wasn't enough to take out Mr. Lerd. But you know what did? The tombstone pile driver. And there it is. The finishing point of the match. And Mr. Lord has rest in peace. Man, what a return for the dead man. And now the Undertaker is still the Universal Champion. Because we all knew that. It was going to be easy victory for the Undertaker. Yeah, Mr. Lord. I'm not sure why he's thinking about becoming Undertaker's opponent. Because he stood no chance. And the Undertaker... Still running through his uh, run as the Universal Champion. Oh, the dead man is back. And now who can stop him? That's the end of part 4. Stay tuned to part 5. But it will be Chris Jericho versus Riley S.